So a little while ago, I had an interesting shoot with DJ that involved some hiking in Ghana. Uh, but we had a problem and that's that we were filming with two red cameras and those cameras are quite heavy. I thought about it if we were to go climbing these hills with these cameras, it's going to be a disaster. You know, we're going to get exhausted really far. So I had to come up with a solution. Myself and my DP then decided to go with just one red camera and a point and shoot Samsung camera from one of the team members but then how could I possibly match the footage from the red camera with the, with the Samsung I mean the, the footage from the red camera would just absolutely destroy the footage from the point and shoot right well not exactly I actually made some tweaks to the settings in the camera and that actually allowed us to shoot these two cameras side by side and I was also able to match it in the edit and when the series actually came out it was broadcast on TV it looked good nobody complained about the quality drop or anything like that absolutely not and so in this video I'm going to be sharing with you exactly what I did to get those results and how you yourself can do it too now first we'll start with how to actually work with Rec 709 footage from some of these prosumer and consumer cameras and then at the end of the video I'm going to be sharing with you some of the settings that you can actually tweak on most if not every single camera out there including your phone yes if you have the app that lets you do it the settings that you can tweak to now make working with this footage even better all right but for now that's great. Now, I think the secret to working with Rec 709 footage is to actually reverse engineer it. What do I mean by that? Let's look at some of the characteristics of the Rec 709 footage. Uh, for one, it's very contrasty. There's a lot of contrast. Uh, the blacks are dark and the whites are bright. Uh, in layman's terms, the bright areas are really bright and the dark areas are really dark. Rec 709 footage also has a lot of saturation. That means the colors are very vibrant. They pop, you know, they're very, which is Good. you know sometimes we want the colors to be vibrant and we want them to pop but oftentimes when filming in Rec 709 um, it may be too much so the contrast is usually a bit too much the saturation is usually a bit too much in order for us to now work with Rec 709 footage and we're reverse engineering it so we want to actually now reduce these things and so the starting point of working with rec 709 footage is actually reducing these things reducing the saturation and reducing the contrast and then a secret sauce that i'm going to be sharing as well for this tutorial i'm going to be using adobe premiere pro but you can pretty much do this on any non-linear editing software of your choice so we start by pulling down the contrast you know until we're at a point where we are comfortable with then we also pull down the saturation to the point where we are equally comfortable with and we're done uh, no uh, time for the secret sauce now we want to use the curves to, to of what we now want to do is we want to make a reverse s curve you know this is to further reduce the contrast of the image by bringing down our highlights and boosting our shadows and that is it i mean you can see the before and after it's so much better now if you wanted to now go further to apply any creative lot that you might have go for it you know just make sure that whatever lot you're using first of all it's designed for rec 709 and two you are able to reduce the intensity because lots are not designed to be used at a hundred percent um, intensity you know so in premiere pro you should be applying your lots under the creative panel not the uh, basic panel because the creative panel has the intensity dial where you can now increase or reduce the intensity of whatever lot it is that you are applying to your footage if you like this content please take a moment to subscribe and drop a comment thank you now for the shooting tip i promised yep you guessed it exactly what we just did in the edit is what we want to do in our camera but the difference is that the image is going to be so much better when you do it in camera than when you try to now bring it back because we can try and reduce the contrast in the edit but if that information was not there if the camera did not capture enough information in those dark areas in those really bright areas they're gone you know they're gone for life you can't recover it but when you do these settings in camera you're able to now capture extra bits of information that we can now really finesse in the edit so for shooting in rec 709 regardless of the camera that you're using you want to turn down the contrast you want to turn down the sharpness 
and you want to turn down the saturation just a little bit don't go and turn it all the way down to start shooting black and white monochrome I, I do not send you to do that one just turn the saturation down just a little bit and you now have what we call a flat image don't mistake this for log it is not log log is an actual color space that is unique to that particular camera brand i hope that i'm saying it right because there is s log for for sony's c log for canons there's n log for nikon etc or is this z log there's no z log so yeah this this is not log this is just uh what we call shooting in a flat profile you're just getting a little bit more extra information you know from your camera that you can now play around with it just a little bit in the edit to give you that extra room to now be able to match footage from a superior camera like the red cameras for example and so by doing this we now even skip the whole reverse engineering it in the edit and we just go straight into you know adding a little bit of contrast back adding a little bit of saturation um, applying the creative load so you skip that whole reverse engineering side of things because you've already done it when shooting and you just get straight into the actual editing and the actual uh, color grading of your footage if this video has been helpful to you then you should definitely go check out my video on how I color grade really fast.